Happy Friday! I wanted to give some key tips to what you can do to optimize your protein digestion. Perhaps you've heard protein is essential for synthesizing hormones, it's responsible for helping produce antibodies, it's great for helping maintain our hair and creating hard nails. But what you may not have heard about before is hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is what our stomachs produce when we are going and consuming protein. Hydrochloric acid is highly acidic, usually pH of 0.8 to 1.5. And this is necessary because it's a high acid environment. It's like the furnace that helps to burn and break down food properly. What you may not know though is that there are some foods that can interfere with your production of hydrochloric acid thereby limiting the capacity for you to digest proteins. So one of those factors is if you are consuming let's say a starch with an animal protein, it's not a good combination in the least for the reason being that this guy right here requires a more alkaline environment in the stomach. That means your stomach is not going to be quite the furnace that it would be with digesting protein, which requires a highly acidic environment. So you combine these two together, and what you have is neutralization of stomach acid where you are not going to be able to break down your protein as effectively. In fact, it's horrible because the enzymes that are necessary to digest both are not complementary but are conflicting. Another factor is if you have low zinc, you're not going to be producing hydrochloric acid in proper quantities. Uh, zinc is required in part to maintain HCL, hydrochloric acid, uh, as well as adequate fluids in between meals. However, that being said, if you are consuming any kind of liquids while you're having a protein, that's going to interfere. Having too much liquids will buffer the stomach acid, making it harder to digest your proteins. So that's one really important thing. But I wanted to also make mention to, if you think that you're just not digesting protein despite maybe separating your protein, making sure that you're just eating it with vegetables and non-starchy carbohydrates that are okay to combine, um, and you're still finding it sitting heavy within you, then consider too if you even have enough hydrochloric acid. If you come and say to me, oh hey, well I get heartburn, I get acid reflux, I'm producing too much stomach acid, no, you've been duped. One of the biggest lies out there is that you have too much stomach acid, when in fact, what will happen is if you have chronically low stomach acid, your body does not stop producing it, and especially if you're eating, and your body will just keep producing it, and there will come a point where you might get the acid to come right back up. One of the solutions, ironically, in this day and age, is to actually consume things that help to increase hydrochloric acid. Easiest thing to do is to incorporate apple cider vinegar. Uh, you take about two tablespoons of this, you can dilute it with a little bit of water, drink it before each protein meal, you're going to be feeling quite fantastic. When I started to do that um, a couple years ago, I noticed within about a month's time, my nails went from not being able to grow very long to being things of beauty. They look like they've been taken from a nail shop, and I didn't even have to go. And that's one very healthy sign of protein digestion. Your hair is growing adequately, your immune system is working at peak, your nails are hard, um, and your, your body just feels good, you're not losing muscle. So those are some quick tips. I hope that helps out. If you have any questions or think that there's conflicting information, feel free to send me a message or give me a call and I'll answer anything that you need. Check out my website at jillianwisborg.com. Thanks for your time. Happy Friday.